Today we're going to visit an Instagram page that has one of the most confusing art tips and tutorials I have seen in my life. Whenever I think of an art tutorial, immediately I just presume it's supposed to be filled with insights or tips or secret techniques that I have not seen, something that can be useful to me in any way that can make me improve my art or learn a technique that can make drawing or painting or coloring faster or a shortcut to a long approach I have been using for a while. And I guess it's absolutely not everyone can always have good tips for drawing that can always help you but at least there should be some decent tips in whatever you're giving us. We have seen countless TikToks with art tips that don't get us anywhere. Some that just give us ridiculous art tips that literally just make us worse. And then there are some that just claim to help artists, like the page we're going to visit right now. I don't go bashing them in any way. I mean, I have seen some actual good advice on the page, which could be good and beneficial to artists, but the majority of the tips and help they're providing is just convoluted. Now the page is called My Art Tutorials on Instagram and they have over 500,000 followers and close to a thousand posts. Wow, that's that's like almost three times everything I've posted in my entire life. Damn. Now if you just scroll through the page, you'll see they have all these kind of tutorials where they show you what you should do and then what you shouldn't do and then they expect every instance to just be the same automatically which is so wrong because drawing is very relative and subjective to the artist and whatever he's trying to create and some of these tips might not fit into the artist's art style and some of them might just be things that are different with people So this one says the nail on the left hand side is wrong and the nail on the right hand side is right. So we should never draw people who have rounded nails and we should always just draw people who have nails that are only straight and pointing forward. What? I mean, have you seen people's nails? No one person has the same nail as the other person. People are different. Even people who are brothers or blood related, they don't even have the same nails. They don't even have the same features on their body just like every other person that they share the same bloodline with, like their brothers or their sisters. They might have similar features, but they are always going to be different. So you can't just expect this tip to just be the same for every person because I've seen people with very funny nails and they are still existing and if you draw someone like that it, it's real you're actually correct and the post already has 93 comments so let's see if other people actually agree with what i'm saying my finger is literally the one marked as x and that has 400 likes me too they mean to say our fingernails are ugly and we shouldn't draw ugly fingernails which is exactly what i'm saying these tutorials just make it seem like people with the features where they mark as wrong are just not people and shouldn't be considered as beautiful people because they don't have the standard features that we perceive as beauty. Mine too. Not many people have long nail beds. Guess our fingers are all wrong, huh? The first pick is wrong. Nails aren't always the same. The second one is uh not right but also not wrong. This is literally my problem with these tutorials. They don't specify 
where and when you should use these tips they just make a post and just leave it blank expecting us to just do whatever with the information they're giving us especially since some of these tips can just be avoided if you probably take the time to explain what you mean in your post instead of leaving it so open to interpretation by different people i'm so confused my nails look like the first one. Oh, we have we have someone related to Sam Does Art here. This person's name is Sure Does Art Stuffs. Hey Sam, is this your cousin? Your long lost cousin? I mean, my nails are pretty much exactly the same as the first one. Right now, I just consider myself as the ugliest person in humanity. So I should never ever use my hands for reference again. I have to always use reference of a Caucasian lady with slim fingers, according to this tutorial. Now this next one is just really confusing. In the don't, they said not to draw the collarbones and then not to draw the sternocleidomastoid, which is the muscle that goes straight into the neck and connects to the back of the ears. And in the do, we're supposed to just draw the neck as a straight line down, connected with the collarbone, which just seems kind of weird obviously when you're drawing you want to have some kind of flow in your line art especially if you're an artist that relies heavily on your line art say for example an illustrator or someone just just draws comics the beauty of your work is much more visible when your lines are clean and have a direct flow to them so just drawing and connecting lines because you think they are right will make your drawings look a little bit stiff if you don't have a flow in your line art and just looking at the don'ts in the second image where they say not to draw the neck as coming in right under the jaw and then in the do they say just to draw the neck straight down is just wrong it's, i don't even know what i'm saying anymore because this is making me lose my mind different artists draw jaws and draw their faces differently sam simplifies his images so much but yet you can sense a feel of realism in his work and in his paintings whenever you look at them you can't tell me his art style is wrong because he draws his character's necks curved and not just straight down this tip is just wrong i don't even understand what this person is talking about i mean i get it if you want to portray a male character standing and just looking sideways and he's just stiff and whatever maybe you can attempt drawing him like that but i just don't see why this should be the correct version and judging from these drawings both of them even look kind of wrong though so i have the wrong neck what the hell? Yes, definitely me too. I thought tangents were don'ts. And for people who don't understand what tangents are, is when two lines are just touching and making your drawing look weird, which is exactly what's happening in the neck. And in drawing, whenever you have tangents in your work, you're advised to either get rid of them by removing the overlapping line or just making the forms overlap to make your drawings look better. But in this tutorial, they're telling us that we don't have to even consider anything like tangents. We can just go ahead and do whatever. Which is just a no from me. Thanks, but I'll pass. Okay, but why do the wrong ones look better and have more personality then? Which is exactly what I said. I mean, the wrong one just looks so much better than the ones they always say are right. But according to them, we don't have to think. We just have to follow whatever they say. I get the neck and ear being anatomically incorrect, but the wrong face looks so much better. I think out of all of the tutorials that I've seen on this page that just annoy me, I think this one has to be the most annoying. So on the left, they say no, and there's a drawing of a mouth. And on the right, they say yes, and it's hot as f and this time the only difference is the gums of the teeth are showing uh? 
So you want to tell me all the cartoons where there is no gum inside are just wrong. Our drawings are only correct if the gums are showing. That is such, that is so misleading and incorrect. I guess it's you want to make your drawings seem real and you want the person to think you understand anatomy and you know what you're doing. So you obviously want to show them like, hey, my characters have teeth and like their gums are clean and like my character's teeth are filed. I also know how to draw gums correctly. I know how to draw teeth. I understand the dentition and how anatomy works. But the problem is before you use a tip like this, you have to understand what you're doing and your art style. If your art style is manga or cartoony, you don't have to show the gums if you don't want to. It's not a necessity. It's it's not compulsory for you to show the gums of your character if it's just not part of what you do. Now, I guess it's for certain art styles, especially if you're like a realistic painter or something like that, that will definitely be correct. But if you're just a simplified artist and you enjoy drawing chibi characters, it's also correct if you draw it the wrong way. It's still correct. There's nothing wrong with your image. So I don't get why this person always just puts up tutorials or tips where context is much more important than whatever it is you're saying. It just screams ignorance to me. Not gonna lie, I enjoy the first one more, but they both look good. These are just suggestions to make more anatomically correct features. You don't have to do it. No need to get mad which is exactly what I'm saying. Both of them are actually correct depending on the context of the drawing and the art style of the artist making the drawing. If you don't show your gums, your drawing is still valid. If you show your gums, your drawing is valid as well. I'm sure it's surprising how these things work, but that's just how art is. Not everything you claim is correct is correct and not everything you claim wrong is wrong only with certain styles plus psychology indicates that the more you see of a character's or person's gums when they smile the more unsettling they appear <laughs> this is actually correct i mean i don't imagine myself just smiling and showing my gums like hey, that just makes me seem weird there are different styles if we all follow the same style there wouldn't be much variation those art tutorials are getting more and more hmm, bad you can draw both it depends on effects you want to get i'm guessing uh all the cartoons that have belts drawn in them in the style of the top image are automatically wrong according to this tutorial and we all should start drawing our belts realistically even though we're drawing something like say uh, uh fairly odd parents hey but Hartman, yeah we should always draw realistic belts on cartoon characters that is absolutely correct it's called being simple the belt is going to be black anyway so who cares about that much detail <laughs> now this is actually a very funny comment you see sometimes in comics you don't even bother just drawing the belt you just fill it in with black and then leave some space for the buckle and that's it you're free to go so you can see my problem with these tips and tutorial formats where they say not to do something because it's wrong and the right version which they present is always correct it's just based on the context of the person drawing the image some things you claim are wrong are actually fine and they're just not what you enjoy as an artist but they are what other people enjoy as artists so you can't tell me the way a manga artist draws his own version of hands and eyes are just wrong and because someone like proko draws his the way he draws his own are the only correct versions because they look much more realistic i'm guessing the people who run this page they actually know that people are complaining about this but they just keep on posting them for reasons i clearly don't understand but anyway i'm glad you stuck around to the end of the video leave a comment if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this and you can also leave a comment with what other topics you want me to talk about next and what other video ideas you want me to make in the future you can also go follow me on my social media it's down in the description follow me on twitter follow me on instagram and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and if you like the video please leave it a thumbs up it really goes far to help my channel and i really appreciate it from everyone else also if you want to support the channel you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description and with all that being said 
I will see you in the next video. Peace. Come on.